All right, today I'll be talking about antimicrobial resistance in India. So the topics I would be covering is uh, the global AMR, the AMR antimicrobial resistance in India, what has changed in antimicrobial resistance pattern in last five years, global efforts that has been uh, undertaken by World Health Organization to counter antimicrobial resistance and efforts in India to counter antimicrobial resistance. So when you look at the human and economic cause of AMR, I think you would be dreaded to see that uh, there are around 700 deaths happening every year due to antimicrobial resistance uh, worldwide. And uh, this follows only uh, diseases like cancer, which, which, which uh, seems to be the leading cause of death at this point of time and uh, followed by uh, diarrheal disease and followed by diabetic complications and road traffic and uh, road traffic accidents so i think antimicrobial resistance is getting there to the top list so it is still in uh, seven to eighth place but it may soon reach uh, the top places so so right now as we see it constitutes a staggering 700 deaths per year so the predicted uh, the sort of uh, projections uh, that would happen in 2050 if uh, the rate of antimicrobial resistance is continue at the same alarming rate it would constitute around 10 million and uh, this would uh, exceed the cancer deaths diabetic uh, diarrheal disease and road traffic accidents so and in 2050 the prediction is there would be a continued increase in the resistance and uh, it would constitute up to 10 million deaths every year and this would reduce the GDP of any of the global GDP uh, to 2 to 3.5 percent and that would uh, amount to 100 trillion US dollars. So that's the economic impact that antimicrobial resistance would happen, would have um, on, the, uh, on the economic scale. So if you look at deaths attributable to antimicrobial resistance every year, so as you see the Asia constitutes, so if you look at uh, the global sort of a layout of this antimicrobial resistance, I think Asia leads the scale. So you would have 4.73 million deaths uh, that would happen. So amongst 10 million deaths that you saw in 2050 as a projected number, so the predominant uh, number would be in Asia because antimicrobial resistance would be highest in this part of the world. And this would be followed by African countries and this would followed by Latin America. So North America would follow and Europe uh, would be the last one. So what essentially this projection depicts is antimicrobial resistance is more of a worrying concern and a serious concern in our part of the world if the rates continue to increase due to irrational, erratic and inappropriate usage of antibiotics which almost always is the cause of antimicrobial resistance.